Hello and welcome to my tour and, you know, help or whatever on Camtasia Studio 7. This just recently came out and I've promised you guys one of these. So if you look at Camtasia, if you have used Camtasia Studio 6, you will notice a big difference when you open up Camtasia Studio 7 for the first time. First of all, obviously, is the color. But next is this. We have undo and redo here cut copy and paste here and this zoom panel but first I'm going to import some media that we that I will be using for this just drag it in here you can choose your size or dimensions and stuff and then this is just a video I'm going to and this is when this helps you you can zoom out with it or zoom in with it and it makes your work a lot easier so yeah I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller okay next thing we're gonna look at this library now this here you can choose if you some audio yeah all these different audios that you can choose it from and here we have digital radius which is, they're basically images that you can add text to. And here, here, these are fever waves. And they're basically things that you can put text on top of and then the background moves. It's really cool. And we have rounded angles, which are basically the same thing, sort of. And here, sound effects. Laptop click, all of these. So yeah, this is a very cool thing that they added into Camtasia 7. Next, we're going to be looking at Calots. I do not know how to pronounce it. Okay. Here you have a list of things you can add into. These are new and some of these are new. So first I'm going to show you the sketch motion. We're going to add this and we're going to now you can now rotate it all around. Okay, we're gonna point it to the fairy or whatever it is. And we are going to give it a little more drawing time like maybe yeah, okay that's that's good yeah and no I don't want it to fade out so yeah and you can just adjust all of the settings here you can yeah it's really cool you can make it draw it or just have it uh, there but yeah you can also put like um, squares or squiggles or whatever it's really cool make this big squiggle yeah so it's really cool what you can do there and also another new thing is uh, take that away yeah, whatever in here is traditional keystrokes say in my recording I wrote I did like a, a shortcut like you know F10 or something to stop to stop recording or something then it would show it would show what whatever shortcut keys I used. It's good if you're like doing a tour for Photoshop or something, a tutorial or something, and you use a lot of shortcut keys. So yeah, that's really good. And now we'll get to some of these. This frame here. I've been asked this quite a bit. How do you make one video clip like this split into two? That's actually very easy. You just have to click this button here split and there you have it two videos which is very cool and this is when you can add transitions say I want to add a checkerboard like that or fade through black or glow there's lots of transitions that you can use yeah I'm gonna be using let's see which one okay spiral you just drag it in to either one of these I only have one, so I'm dragging it into here. And then if you play it from the beginning, or play it from here, or whatever, wherever, and eventually, eventually, it will, you know, whatever. So yeah, that's basically that. And next is how you zoom in on something. Say I wanted to zoom in on the fairy here. 
Well, you simply let's see, maybe actually here. Okay. Where you wherever you want to zoom in, you just drag this to as small as you want it and then move it to where you want it to be. Like that. It's really, really simple. And then down here you have some options like how long it will take to zoom in and whatnot. It's really cool, really. Okay, so let's see. Now it's out, and then it will just, like, zoom in. So you can do a lot of things with, um, this, see? It will just start zooming in. And you can also do, like, this scale or whatever. It's just a scale. It's just doing the exact same thing. But, yeah. So that's basically how you zoom in on something. It's really, really cool if you know how to do it properly. And, yeah. Obviously, I don't have any audio, so we can't do the audio options. And there's just cursor effects as well, though. But I didn't contain the cursor data, so yeah. But you can, like, choose how big you want the cursor to be, and highlight, spotlight, magnify, everything like that. And then you can have a left-click effect and a right-click effect. It's really, really cool, actually. Yeah. And then there's voice narration, all of these other ones. Yeah. Yeah, look, that's speaking. Me speaking. Yeah, you, it's just really cool. And a shortcut to record the screen is this here. Yeah. And to record the screen, you can use a... Go into Camstia 7 Applications and Camst Camtasia Recorder. That's how you record the, the screen like I'm doing. And there's Record Camera. There's lots of things that to use and stuff like that. You can put captions to like uh, see it will come up or yeah, stuff like that. Well, I might do a more detailed thing like this soon, but this is just like I wanted to get it up because I was I don't know, later or whatever. So yeah, if you hope you've enjoyed this, comment, rate, subscribe. New it's a new account, so yeah, thanks for watching.